Thomas and I, we only um, agreed to do a trial over the, um, the US period, so for three weeks, and then just off the back of that, it just wasn't really for either of us. Well, I haven't really changed coach. I, you know, I, 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 I was getting to know Thomas, so we spent three weeks together, so I, I, I hadn't exactly been with him for months and months. Um, so um, I, I don't think there's really any change um, going on. Um, but yeah, no, Dan's still with me and he'll be in Paris. I was open to getting to know him, so I think it was whenever you, you get to know a coach, you have to be open to seeing if it's something that works for you, and um, it, just, it just wasn't something that basically worked for me, really, and, um, or worked for either, either of us. You know, it, you know, things have to match up. Um, you have to be able to bring the best out of each other, and we just didn't feel that it was going to be a good fit. And are you going to try and look for somebody else quite quickly or you just give yourself time? Um, I think TBC, you know, it, I haven't really thought too much of it. I think um, when the person will come along, I'll know. And yeah, and I, haven't, I haven't really thought too much of it. OK, so no imminent replacement expected. She'll mm. go to the French Open without an official coach. Amber, let me get your reaction. Mm. It was fairly clear, was it not, from quite early on? <laughs> well, you asked the question, Marcus, she... and you got quite a short, sharp answer from her when you were asking whether you know, things were going well and had he brought something to her, and she was very quick to dismiss whether he'd brought anything at all, actually. so Is it the right thing for her to do, though, if, as is pretty clear from that interview, they weren't gelling? Should she just... Well, or line through it possibly, or, yeah. Got, if a, somebody a... irritates you, they irritate you. And it's pretty clear he must have been irritating her. And from what we understand about previous coaches that have worked with her, you have to have a certain language to work with her. So there are certain words that she won't accept in the language. So if you say, apparently, I don't know. I mean, I've heard this, that if you say uh, you've got to be a bit more aggressive, I don't think she likes the use of the word aggressive. So you have to say proactive. So there are little things like that that Joe is very, apparently, very sort of structured in how she approach, approaches her matches. But equally, as we know, uh, it is a personality thing. So you're spending a lot of time with your coach, and whether it's sort of um, in the players' lounge or, you know, obviously on the practice court. And if little tiny things start to wind you up or irritate you, it doesn't matter whether they're saying the best advice in the world or they're bringing the most incredibly tactically astute words to what you're saying. If they irritate you, they irritate you. And there's not a lot you can do about it. And that's why we have this thing called, or the WGA have even called it the coaching carousel because there are multiple changes of coaches where it's just swapping and changing around constantly. But there's going to come a point where it's quite difficult if you're going to go with a player, you've got to know that you might be on the chopping board within two months and that's not good for your CV either. Uh, and she has had quite a few coaching changes. But obviously, Dmitry Zavilov, I don't think that was a real split. I believe he had some personal issues, and I think possibly she would like to have, have carried on with him. And I think that was a very successful partnership. I mean, if you think of reaching the quarters of both Wimbledon, US Open, semis of French Open last year, the way he got her to play, the way she played on clay last year was phenomenal. And she was a more complete player last year, actually. OK, we can say they've had time off and it's difficult to judge her now because it's going to take time for her to build up. But clearly that was a very, very good relationship and it's a shame that that wasn't able to continue. But I wonder who's going to put their name in the ring because you might be <laughs> turfed out pretty quickly yes. if it doesn't work out. It's a precarious business. She was very, very clear there to say that it was only a trial, so we shouldn't read too much into this. The point, though... Danny, that a lot of people will probably raise is that he's a very respected coach. He's had a lot of success with top players in the past. So should she perhaps sometimes be a little more open to fresh ideas? Well, I mean, in this case, and I'm sure Joe is the same, that to me it was so important to get on well with the person first and then as a coach. And uh, I can see how that wouldn't really work between Joe and uh, Thomas. And, uh, yeah, he's been very successful with a lot of great players, but I think the players also know he's not, I, would, I wouldn't say the easiest person to, to deal with sometimes off the court. And that's probably one of the main reasons why Joe just didn't feel like uh, it was not going well. But I think they both did the right thing. You know, when it's something is not working, it's better just to finish as soon as possible. And as Annabelle was saying, it's so hard to find the right person because, you know, someone might be a great coach and might all do, do all the right things 
on the court, but then you're traveling with that person almost 10 months of the year and uh, he just kind of, <laughs> yeah. he or she becomes a part of your family. So it's so important that you get on well as a, as a mm. people, um, most importantly, and that is very, very hard to find. Well, one person who most certainly won't be surprised is Laura Robson, who was sitting in Danny's chair just a couple of weeks ago during Cincinnati when the move was announced. And she said that is a relationship that's not going to work. And uh, she's on <laughs> holiday at the moment in Italy, but she's probably raising a glass of champagne saying, yeah, I told you so. OK, let's move on to the night session.